Hey, this is Lisa Ely, and I am known as a six-figure success mentor. Hey, I just wanted to drop in. I'm going to be dropping in this entire month sharing some career forward moments because you guys have been telling me you want to hear more about it. So today I want to share with you what I learned from George Frazier. For those of you who don't know, let me say this. He wrote this book. It's called Success Runs in Our Race. And the subtitle is The Complete Guide to Effectively Networking in the Black Community. But it's really just about networking, period. I'm going to share some, some highlights, but I really want to share with you some stuff that like he just like laid out over the weekend at this conference I was at. And literally, it was amazing. Um, it kind of blew me away because it's so simple and easy, but yet so, so valuable. And so um, before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about like what's going on, what's happening. So this is the last day in June. You know, I did a post today and it was literally just a reflection over the last year and what's happened. So my birthday is in June and I, I'm always sad to see June go. But the other thing too is June ending is a signal that the next six months of this year is upon us. And I don't know what goals, um, what desires, um, what things that you were uh, trying to accomplish literally, but um, you're running out of time, right? You are literally running out of time. So um, you're not out of time. It's just that we're halfway through the year at the end of the day. And so if you're out there, please chat. Um, please let me know where you're, where you're from. Tag your peoples because I am really going to drop five things. So on my campus, I call things like this the high five right? The high five, because they are so classic, so good, so simple, so amazing. And you have got to be doing this because if you're not doing it, man, you're missing out on the good, 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 good stuff. So for those of you joining me now, you're probably wondering what is career forward? So let me tell you what career forward is. So career forward uh, literally is, um, it is the opportunity to uh, dream big on a big stage three days this year. I added another day. Oh, I added another day because there's so much I need to cover and go through and go deeper with you. I got new stuff um, really that that's amazing as well. And so, hey, um, hey, Tanya Moore. Um, so true. Hello from Georgia. How you doing? How you doing? So let me say this. Um, if you are really trying to figure out how to move forward with your big dream, um, we'll be talking about how to do that. The three pillars that are so important in doing that, that is dream, decide, do. Because at the end of the day, dreams are so powerful. Dreams are the things that literally define our purpose. Dreams are the things that we go after that literally on my wall, it says, don't follow your dreams, chase them. And every single day, do something great. Make sure your faith is bigger than your fear, but your faith is over your fear. The faith will overcome your fear, right? At the end of the day. So I have curated and upgraded all of my content um, into three days from two days and going deeper and what I've learned in these last six months. And it is going to be unpacked and you are going to have a transformation, not just for your career, because we have two tracks, a business track and a career track with breakouts and everything. And I am telling you that even in redefining um, taking another pass and two and three at the material, I am learning new stuff. I'm discovering new stuff. So I cannot wait to share it with you. But let me dig in to literally, um, yes, thank you, Tanya. Um, 
Thank you so much. Let me dig into what we what I want to share with you that I learned from Dr. Frazier. Again, um, this book has was literally I was introduced to this book when I was in undergrad. I went to HBCU. I went to Central State University um, in Wilberforce, Ohio. And we actually had this book to help us learn about networking. And so um, he really just recalled some things and it made me pull the book out and look at it again. But the first thing I want to share with you is this. Literally, he says, um, these are five things to do. So get your notes out because it's real good stuff. One, five notes per day to someone in your network. Five notes. So that could be a DM, right? It could be um, if you have the new app, you can send a message, right? Um, you could tag someone in something, but at the end of the day, you want to de you want a message five people in your network. Message five people. Check in. How's it going? What are you doing for the Fourth of July? I see you just got a new job. I see you just you know you're transitioning. I see you out here got a new certification, a new degree, whatever it is. Check in, right? Um, check in, literally. Um, and you don't want anything. You're just checking in. Number two, five phone calls. That's right. I said it. Phone calls. Because we don't call people. Just call five random people. If you are in business, then you might want to call certain people, right? Maybe it's a client, but you don't want to sell anything. You just want to call them to check in. It's five random calls. Network up, uh, across, and network down, right? Uh, at the end of the day. Maybe it's somebody, you know, when he said this challenge, I started looking through my um, Rolodex, I call it, my link up Rolodex on LinkedIn. And I was seeing so many people that I needed to call, that I literally needed to check in with. And I was like, man, I've been missing out on checking in with people. Because I don't know about you, but this last year, literally, I've been, um, I've been, I have my head to the grind, doing my thing, really trying to stay in, you know, positive energy space and all that, and healthy and all that other kind of stuff, and haven't been doing a whole lot of that, connecting with family, right, preserving my energy, self care, doing some fun stuff, right, haven't been focusing a whole lot, you know, just a little bit on networking. The number three thing he says is if you are in sales, if you are your own business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, or if you are, let me say this, actively um, in search of a new career or position or a pivot, you can use this as well. So you're going to call to people who you previously sold to that did not buy. You're going to call people who you apply to positions, the hiring manager, the recruiter, and you didn't get hired. Let me tell you why they did. I'm going to talk about the hired first. Let me tell you why. Um, it happened to me more than once. I was in the running for a position. In one case, I declined the offer because it just wasn't a fit for me at the time. So I reached out a few months later, not because of the offer, but just because the person's name, the hiring manager's name came across in my feed and I just reached out. Then a couple of days later, called me right back and say, you know what? I'm glad you reached out because it made me think about you. I put myself at the top of the list, top of mind, and they re-offered me a higher level job. So I ended up taking it and I did not look back at that point at all. It changed literally um, everything. The second um, thing I would say from a business standpoint is I've done it and then talk to people um, who begin to ask me about things they've seen I was doing, sharing, emails, whatever it is, but I'm just checking in to see how they're doing right at the end of the day. Then, so let me just repeat the first three I said, just in case you're just joining us. So if you're just joining me, drop a note before um, below so I can see that you're here because I want you to be counted. Or if you're watching this on record or replay, um, drop a note. Let me know um, if this me is meaningful to you 
because as I learn stuff and other people are pouring into me, I want to pour into you as well. So the first thing is five notes per day to someone in your network. The second thing is five phone calls per day to someone in your network. The third thing is five sales calls, check-in only, not selling. Check-in only with prior positions that you apply for, um, prior recruiters, prior hiring managers, but you're not inquiring about the job. You're just checking in. Maybe you just say thank you, right? Number four, reach out to five new contacts in any way you want. The thing I love about LinkedIn is this, literally, um, you can message someone. If you have their contact information, you can email them. If you can also direct message them, you can send them a voicemail message and you can even send them a video. So you pick, it doesn't have to be the same. You know, if you're not into typing and all that, then use the app on your phone and literally, literally, um, you can record a message. It's so simple. You can do this literally if you pay attention in probably 15, maybe 20 minutes a day. Um, and you're really just talking to a person for a few minutes, right? And then you say, hey, I just want to check in and see how you're doing and then move, keep it moving. Um, and then the final one, the final one, before I share the final one, let me say this to you. If you have not heard about Career Forward, literally right now, until until Friday, this Friday at midnight, it is 90% off, right? I'm going to drop the link when, the, when we go um, below so that you can figure it out. You can DM me, message me. If you want the link, I'll send it to you. I'm not going to tell you how much it is because it's under $40. It is a steal. I am practically giving away a three-day session, literally a three-day event to help you to define your purpose, to move forward, and to begin to um, make plans, to end up with a 90-day action plan as a result as well. You'll get your big why, you will get clarity on your purpose, and you will begin to define find what you need to do in this second half of the year to reach your career, business, and ministry goals. No doubt about it. And so I don't want you, if you're even slightly interested, I don't want you to, um, to miss out. Um, I don't want you to miss out on any of that. I don't want you to miss out on any of that. So again, let me go back and just repeat the top five, the top four, and then I'll give you the final one. And then I know you probably feel like me. I cooked some, something really, really, really good today. Um, it's kind of like pizza because I like pizza, but it is, it is, um, it is sauce um, and pepperoni on top of zucchini. And I cooked it a little bit earlier. And so my dinner is waiting for me. So let me do the, the countdown. The number one thing you need to do to keep your network going that I learned from George Frazier this weekend. And this is his book, Success Runs in Our Race. It's the complete guide to effective networking in the black community, really in any community. Number one, five notes per day to someone in your network. Uh, number two, five phone calls to someone in your network. Number three, five sales calls to check in only no selling. Five calls to check in on a previous um, recruiter or hiring manager that you might have interviewed with um, or even a previous boss or colleague, right, that you need to check in with. Then, right, reach out to five new contacts, five new contacts. And then finally, the fifth one, the fifth one, introduce five people, right, five sets of people that need to know each other. This is so powerful. I have done this before and let me tell you something. It just magnifies, literally, um, because when you are introducing two people that need to know each other, um, it is magical what they're able to create and do together as a result. So let me say this. Um, I gave you the top five things that I learned about networking from the amazingly brilliant 
blessed, highly favored, um, exceptionally gifted Dr. George Frazier this weekend at an event that he was speaking at. And I just wanted to drop in and share it with you before the week was over so you can begin to plan your July and make a pivot. But do not forget about Career Forward. The investment is so low, I cannot even say it. But if you're interested, I'm going to drop a link below. You can DM me and I'm going to tell you it is going to be well worth it. Don't just come by yourself. Um, invite five people. Reach out to five people and share this video. Let them know about this networking. We're going to be doing some networking there as well. But I'm Lisa Ely. I'm the Six Figure Success Mentor. And I just dropped in today to give you this career forward moment. Take care. Enjoy your Thursday. Say goodbye to June and happy July. Bye for now.